Friends, recently I have published this research article in the Journal of Alloys and Compounds. So this is Coopers and SCI Q1 journal and my research article is accepted within the period of two months only. So if you could see this acceptance duration, this is around three months. So this is because for the first one month, this research article was with editor's office. And after one month, I had sent a reminder and after that this team has acknowledged and started working on my research article so this is actually common and happens in many cases as journal has to handle large volume of research articles and several other reasons are also there so not only this research article but i have published few other research articles in SCI journal by following the same strategies and after watching this video nobody can stop you in publishing your research articles with very good journals quickly so hello everyone and welcome you all to your favorite channel my research support and today in this video we'll be discussing about five fast publication secrets so we can say smart things that you can incorporate in your research writing and during publication process then i will assure you that the probability of your research articles getting accepted in very good journals will increase to the greater extent now the first point you should be capable to judge the quality and level of your written research article and according to that you have to select a journal so this is not just a selecting journal so this point is really very much important please watch it carefully so most of the times what happens we put lot of our efforts in writing our research article and at the time of publication we do ask seniors professors our friends and based on that we select journal so this is your research paper so that is your responsibility to select the best journal so that within minimum time you will be able to publish your research article so most of the times i feel this point is missing so i have already prepared a video on how to select best journals by opting different strategies so link is there in this video description or if you want me to prepare recent video on selecting high acceptance rate fast publication scoopers and web of science index journals by opting advanced strategies then let me know through comments i'll definitely prepare it now before you select best journal for you you have to understand about journal rankings and most appropriately there are four types of journals or quartiles that is q1 q2 q3 and q4 so these quartiles are different for scoopers and these quartiles are different for web of science now let us discuss about the first condition let us say you have to publish your research article just to fulfill your master's or phd requirement your university or company's requirement then you can move ahead submitting your research articles in q4 journals while doing so you need to also think about the two parameters so the first parameter is whether you are submitting into the specialized q4 journal or general q4 journal now let us say there are two q4 journals so one journal is international journal of science and technology and another journal is international journal of biology so if you have written your research article related to biology then you can submit that research article in either of these two journals so let us say you have decided to move ahead with international journal of biology as this is the specialized journal in particular niche there are chances that this journal may have very strong reviewers so if you are submitting your research article in that journal then that will be reviewed in depth and because of that your research article may be rejected now let us talk about the another field if you are submitting your research article into international journal of science and technology then obviously this journal will have number of reviewers in different fields so your research article can be handled by the reviewer who is not specialized in your field and hence there are chances that your research article can pass this revision stage very easily and your research article can be accepted now let us talk about the another point means you need to submit your research articles into the journals those have newly added into this q4 list so you can get this information if you are referring to the scoopers and web of science journal list if you are doing so let me tell you its advantage this newly added journals accept more number of research articles as compared to q1 q2 q3 because they have to increase their citation score impact factor and then only these journals may move to q3 q2 and q1 level that does not mean they will blindly accept your research article but yes acceptance rate would be quite more and your research articles will get preference so this was about publishing your research articles into q4 journals just to satisfy the criteria but if you have really carried out a very good research and if you need recognition reputation then i will recommend you to move ahead and submit your research articles into q1 journals and for that also two things are required suppose if you are working on a topic where number of research articles are already available you can say generalized topics in that case if you are writing a research article then you need to write your research article in depth means you should have analyzed each and every point and you should have written each and every point in depth so in that case you can say your research article will be around 40 50 60 pages but if you are working on a novel topic under that very few researchers have worked and very limited number of research articles are available then within 10 to 15 pages also with sufficient number of results you can publish into this q1 journals now after deciding whether to move ahead with q1 q2 q3 or q4 you can evaluate journal metrics like citation score impact factor acceptance rate acceptance duration etc and for that 
Along with this Coopers and Web of Science websites, you can refer to different journal finder tools so that you will be able to select fast publication free journals quickly. Now once you finalize the journal, before submitting your research article into that journal, you have to make it perfect. Now, I am pre-assuming that you have carried out good research, there won't be any redundancy in your data and by considering that you have prepared your draft and then you can think about our second main point which is language and flow. So you must have structurized your research article into necessary sections and all these sections must be linked with each other. I mean your introduction section must be linked with your literature, literature and methodology, research, discussions etc. If you are putting any arguments or research so those would be supported by proper citations and then the most important point is your presented language should be technically strong and for that you may use different AI tools like Jenny AI, PaperPal or even ChatGPT. For better technical words and sentences, ChatGPT's paid version is preferred but if you don't have access to it, you can use free version or if you need any help related to getting these subscriptions at discounted cost, you can write to us through comments or I have also provided my email ID in this video description. Now how to use these tools? So simply you can use a prompt. Let us say if you are presenting two paragraphs, then you can use prompt like rewrite this text to make it technically strong while maintaining proper flow and you have to paste these two paragraphs and believe me you will really get excellent text so if you are really excellent in technical writing you may skip this stage but as an initial researcher if your english is poor if you are not that much technically strong then you can write in your own words and simply you can rewrite by using chat gpt see this is really the best and cost saving method otherwise you may need to opt for any professional editing service like one which is offered by elsewhere but that will really cost a very huge amount now let us talk about the ai detection means there might be the question which is coming in your mind and what about the ai detection so let me clarify this point so if you are rewriting your own text then generative algorithm is not used so only generative algorithms will be detected under ai detection tools so there is 99 percent probability if you have rewritten your own text then it can't be detected under any AI detection tools. But still, if you are doing so recently, there are many ways by using you can check AI detection scores as well. So once you strengthen the text for your research article, then you need to think about the third point, which is about research diagrams. So along with text, you need to include excellent stunning research diagrams, different schematics, graphs, charts, then definitely this will improve interactions of your research articles with readers and reviewers and this will definitely increase the chances of your research articles getting accepted. So generally we use PowerPoint, 3D Paint, maybe Corel Draw, bio renders for preparing these research diagrams. But recently I found an excellent fully loaded AI tool which is eDraw Max. I have already prepared one video on that. The link is there in this video description. So obviously this is paid tool but if you can afford you can definitely move ahead with this tool because this tool will really reduce a lot of your efforts and time in preferring stunning excellent research diagrams and schematics. Now as you have well structured manuscript you can move towards the fourth point which is pre-submission check. So under that the first and most important point is grammar then you have to check your entire manuscript again grammatical errors and for that I'll suggest you to move ahead with Grammarly because that is the oldest and most effective tool to check and correct grammatical errors. So after grammar you have to check similarity of your research article and try to keep that similarity less than 10% because most of the journals ask you to submit your research articles though similarity score is below 10%. Now the most important point is which plagiarism checker needs to be used. See, so when you talk about the universities means if you want to submit your dissertation or PhD thesis in university then in that case you need to ask your university and if your university is using Authenticate you have to use Authenticate. If your university is using Turnitin you have to use Turnitin otherwise there would be the difference in the similarity scores. So now as you are talking about the journal then most of the journals do use turn it in for similarity check so i'll recommend you to move ahead and use turn it in now the third point is formatting your research article as per the journal formatting guidelines and requirements so you need to carefully visit author's guidelines section which is there on every journal's homepage. and as per that requirements you have to carefully format your entire research article and then the fourth sub point is to perform final check so once your entire research article is ready to submit into the different journals but prior to that you have to perform final check on it and for that I generally prefer you to submit or just send your research article to your professors if you are a student. If that option is not feasible then I'll recommend you to move ahead with 
submission check feature which is available on paper pal so this is really the great feature so you have to upload your research article into that database don't worry it doesn't save any of your database or it won't affect the plagiarism and ai score then after doing so there are a lot of points by using your submitted research article will be analyzed formatting grammar if there is any missing section missing information everything will be evaluated so you can carefully improve all these points and then you can submit your research article into journal now let us talk about the fifth point which is handling your submission now let us say if you have selected right journal and if you have submitted your research article into that journal and even if your research article is rejected you will get this first decision maybe within first 7 to 10 days and after that rejection also you can consider any other journal and you can submit your research article into that journal the most important point is many journals reject research articles by putting specific comments about your research paper so definitely you can try to incorporate all these points in your research article and then you can submit that research article into other journal and now the second possibility is you may be getting revisions so obviously you have to positively handle these revisions you have to politely answer to each and every reviewer then you have to submit the revisions you have to handle this proof readings carefully so on that also i have already prepared one video so the link is there in this video description now let us discuss about the last point which is obviously not included in previous five points so do i really need to mention this point i think yes i need to mention and that is luck why i'm saying this because let us say if you have written your research article and that is of average quality but still you have submitted that research article into well reputed q1 journal and there is a possibility that your research article can be sent to the reviewers and these reviewers are quite positive towards giving revisions means they can handle your submission slightly means either they will be giving you major revisions or minor revisions so in that case yes your research article can pass the revision stage of your q1 journal and on other side so let us say you have submitted the same research article into low rank q4 journal but still there is a possibility that your research article can be sent to the reviewer which is specialized in your niche and that reviewer is quite strict and orienting towards rejecting number of manuscripts rather than accepting so in this case even average and good level manuscripts can be rejected so nothing is stable in this paper publication process but my last message to all of you don't let this rejection stop you in publishing your research articles instead learn from this rejections and keep trying and definitely you will get success so there are many researchers so called big shots will also face multiple rejections but they keep learning and trying and they get success so thank you very much for watching this video do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon i'll see you in my next video bye bye